It's 655. TV white spaces or TVWS is one technology that helps enable affordable broadband access, a so-called super Wi-Fi connection that can be used effectively in the country to improve digital connections and elevate our economic growth. We we'll now have in the studio DOSD ICTO Director Patricia Abejo to tell us more about super Wi-Fi. Director Abejo, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming. Jane. Thank you for having us here. It's What's TV White Space? Well, TV White Space is uh, allows us to use a frequency that is not currently used mm -hmm. for commercial TV and radio purposes. Um, with some technology that we hope to deploy with mm -hmm. the private sector and government, uh, we will be able to use such technology to provide internet access. Um, the reason we would like to explore this opportunity is because we would like to be able to provide internet connectivity, particularly in the rural areas. How, how feasible is this? Uh, TV white space is in the rural areas already, the frequencies are there. Actually, the project, or what we call the TV White Space Initiative, was mm -hmm. launched in the Philippines last June. Okay. Uh, we're one of the pioneers in uh, deploying or exploring this particular technology. And uh, we feel that this is a benefit to the Filipino people, particularly in the rural areas where there's not a lot of commercial mm -hmm. internet connectivity uh, available. So uh, with this kind of technology, we hope to be able to deploy data-intensive projects. You know, uh, As you know, in the DOST, we launched uh, Project NOAA. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. One of the things we want to be able to leverage ICT is on the use of uh, deploying uh, weather uh, information, uh, mm. flood control systems, using this kind of technology. Um. How, how feasible is it using present uh, infrastructure in the country? Well, right now, um, the frequency is available, okay. but we have to have uh, the equipment tested All to right. make sure that uh, the, the connectivity is uh, acceptable in some areas. Uh, we are pilot testing it now, and mm -hmm. we hope to be able to to do the deployment in Metro Manila and mm -hmm. then move to Visayas in Mindanao, hopefully in the next year. Is it going to be expensive for the government to put this up? It, it's not at all expensive. The reason for this is we will be able to reach a wider uh, population through the okay. use of this technology. Mm -hmm. By freeing up frequency mm -hmm. um, that is not currently used, okay. uh, we will be able to provide that internet connectivity to the rural area. And these frequencies belong to whom? The, these are unused. unused Frequencies. Unused frequencies. Okay. And also, Jing, as you know, as we move into digital TV migration, right. a lot of a lot more of those TV white spaces, those unused frequencies will be made available as well. Right. And what's your timetable for the project? Well, uh, we launched it in June and we hope to be able to deploy it, as I mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, sometime next year, hopefully okay. in this size in Mindanao. And Metro Manila. And Metro Manila, of course. And next week, you're hosting the ASEAN Telecoms and Information Ministerial Meeting. Yes. Um, you know, we're very pleased and honored and pri very much privileged that the Philippines is hosting this ministerial meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, we will be doing it in Cebu next week. Uh, it's a senior level. As you know, it's a ministerial meeting. So uh, among the ASEAN region, mm -hmm. uh, the Philippines included, and the dialogue partners. Um, one of the things we want to be able to uh, advance in this particular meeting is the use of information and communications technology. You know, as we move towards economic integration in the ASEAN region, we really hope to be able to leverage on ICT. And one of the things that we are pushing and would like the other ASEAN uh, member countries as well to benefit from is the use of the TV white space, you know, and at least be able to reach a wider population, not just in the Philippines, but within the ASEAN region as well. And how, how is the TV white space going to impact the consumer? Is it going to be expensive compared to present broadband uh, prices? We have not been able to do some costings in mm -hmm. terms of uh, whether it's more cost effective from the consumer, right. but certainly the objective is to make it more accessible to a wider population at the least cost possible. Well, if you think about it, the, the technology is there, the, the frequencies are the there. The frequencies are there. Yes. Is the technology expensive to you to be able to use the frequencies? Well, uh, from what we know, mm -hmm. Jing, there's uh, not a whole lot of deployments yet around the world. Okay. So we are the pioneers, so okay. we are testing it um, as in the same way that other countries are doing the same. Mm -hmm. um, but here, again, I'd like to go back to the objective of being able to reach wider population, right. being able to reach those uh, Filipinos in the rural areas, right. and be able 
able to provide that access. You know, mm -hmm. um, internet uh, connectivity, as you know, is very expensive. Mm -hmm. Could be very expensive, but yes. with this opportunity, with this technology, mm -hmm. we could make it more accessible, and hopefully at a much less cost. So you're going outside of the backbones, the the digital backbones. The digital the backbones. We're using um, this white space now, mm -hmm. the TV white space, as you call it as that uh, alternative uh, connectivity to the internet. And how does TV white space compare to broadband in terms of quality of delivery of data or uh, other forms of a media? I, I'm glad you raised that because with TV white space, you know, it could reach um, the thing about this technology is it is able to reach through waters, through seas, hilly terrains and mountains. Um, in the forest, so some of these um, cannot necessarily be reached through by the regular right. digital infrastructure. Right. So, uh, with this kind of technology, it really does uh, present a very alter, uh, attractive uh, alternative. Especially in the Philippines, where Especially we have a terrain like with, like we do. With the kind of terrain yeah. that we have here, not just in Manila, but of course around the country. Director, thank you very much for enlightening us on TV White Space. Thank you for having us, Jane. And okay. good luck on the project. All right, and we hope to have a successful hosting of the uh, ministerial meeting of the ASEAN Telecommunications and IET Ministers next I hope week you do. in Cebu. All good right. luck. All right, thank, thank you very you. much. Director Patricia Abejo of DOST ICTL.